next time. <laughs> oh, I'm a oh my god! I just stripped that woman down to her panties. <gasps> I didn't know that was gonna happen. No, don't call the guards. I'm out of here. Welcome everybody to the Falcon One Shot. On the agenda, we have Way of the Samurai Three for PC. Um, if you are familiar with my one shot on Way of the Samurai 4. That was also ported over from the PS3 over to the PC. I want to say last year is when I covered that one. We're getting Way of the Samurai 3 ported over to the PC this year. As a matter of fact, I believe it comes out sometime towards the end of March. I'm playing this a little bit early right now, but it should be coming out by the 25th or the 24th of uh, March, if I'm right. So I'm pretty sure the video release will kind of line up with the um, corresponding release date over here. Um, if you're not familiar with the Way of the Samurai games, they're really, really fun games. Let me um, exit out of that. I'm over here talking game, please. Don't go into your demo thing. Uh, the way the samurai games have been always like this whole Japanese medieval samurai kind of open world game where essentially you're dropped into the world and you are allowed to do whatever it is you please. You could be a good guy, you could be a bad guy, you could follow the quest, you could follow no quest, you could just run around and be a dick. Do whatever you want. If you want to, you know, enjoy more of the story, though, you might want to eventually at some point pick a side or, you know, go down some sort of quest line. But, you know, nothing is really enforced and you can just do whatever you kind of want in these games, which are really, really fun. So right off the bat, we get to create our character here to begin with. I already have something going on off camera, but, you know, I want to start off fresh for the purpose of this one shot so you understand how the game starts off and the decisions you get involved with early on over here. Let's go into name is nameless, that's perfectly fine. Let's go into appearances over here. As you start off, you only have a couple of things unlocked, which is one, two, and three. As you progress, you will unlock a few more over here. I personally like to go with, um, we have Super Saiyan Goku over here, but I'm gonna go with this guy. This balding samurai who looks like he's seen some shit in his life, so I'm gonna pick him up. We also get to choose our outfit here to begin with. We have like some sort of shirtless samurai. This could be, I might get this um, pronunciation wrong, I think this is a Ronin, 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 no, whatever, man. If I'm wrong, correct me, I'm pretty sure I am. I personally like to go with this one, though, because look at this guy's hair, look at his look, and look at this little weird fur skirt he's got going on over here, so basically his junk's just flapping about in the wind. So I'm gonna pick this one up over here. The third one is unlocked, uh, or locked, I should say, so I guess over time you will unlock that one, too. That's perfectly fine. As you start off, you get to also choose weapons. When you're starting off a flesh, uh, a flesh, a fresh playthrough, you are not going to have any weapons available to you. But what's really cool about this um, Way of the Samurai series is that whenever you beat the game or you die, you have the option of saving weapons and items over to another run. So essentially what you could do is just start off a run, gather up some weapons and some items, and then save them, and then when you do another run, you'll be able to actually start off by choosing your loadout from the beginning. So it's really cool because it gives you, like, you know, a reason to play multiple playthroughs because the game has a tons of endings and tons of um, endings are impacted by the choices you make in the game as well. The powers of old have lost and lie dead. A simple servant has risen to become a general. War breeds war, fields are rampaged, and hearts are in confusion. The world is at war, with no end in sight, and notorious warlords battle to rule the world, including Owari's Nobunaga Oda. Here in Amana, the honor of the former Sakurai clan is now but a dream, and Shuzen Fujimori, a mastermind of chaos who came to power by supplanting his lord, vies to become its ruler. Shuzen's sole desire is for a stronger, more powerful Amana. However, in his drive to accomplish his goals, the people of Amana struggle to survive. For in Amana, war is incessant. In fact, one battle has just ended. But the only souls to cast off the woes of war are those that lie dead, heaped on the ground. To those that wander the battlefield, is hell our world? or the one beyond. No one knows for sure.
Oh, Alright, so it should be noted, I'm going to talk over this, but you see a little action at the side? This is kind of like one of the um, purposes where you have like multiple, um, I guess, decisions to make. You could either go aggressive or go passive. I'm going to start off aggressive because when you start off aggressive, there is more of um, interesting kind of like, um, not character development, but more like story development right off the bat as opposed to just waiting for these guys to take you to the village. Otherwise, you would pass out and they would take you to the village and you would start off like as a... Uh, you know, a dude recovering, like, let's say from amnesia. Not really amnesia, but, you know, it's just basically take it to the village, you're recovering, and you start off with that side over there. But if you go with the aggressive route, you do start off with... There should be uh, another warrior around here from the leftovers of this little battle that you were at here. Just gotta find him. Where you at, dog? No, you're around here somewhere. There he is, okay. And this is one of those battles that you essentially... I'm not sure if you could win it. I guess maybe if you start off with um, proper items, there's a possibility you can, because I was actually quite close to beating that guy. What I'm going to do right now is actually go through the bodies and actually search for some items to see if we can get ourselves healed up to uh, at least our full HP to have a better chance of fighting that guy. So, with this game, you could obviously go through bodies whenever there's, like, you know, if you go into fights and stuff. However, it's shunned upon by, you know, the regular members of society if you're over here, if you, like, basically kill a person, right? And then you start looting their body, like, um, apparently you get, like, negative, um... You get, like, a negative opinion from people, and that all affects your samurai points. It will essentially be your overall score at the end of your run over here, and it'll tell you whether you were, like, an honorable samurai or a scumbag completely, so just keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, here we have the Hozuki. This is gonna be attack 3, defense 6. Let me pick this up here. That'll be our second weapon. We could equip up to 3 at one point right now, so here we go. This is kind of, like, more of a spear weapon. And here's our moderate blade. Um, let's see, we have the Rotten Rice Ball. I'm gonna ingest this right now. We got 200 HP restored, but because it's rotten, our defense will be 30%, or it's gonna be like low for 30 seconds until that wears off. So I'll let it wear off. Let me go ahead and eat this mushroom. And the rest of these vegetables over here. You know, if you're ever hurt, just eat some veggies and you restore your energy. It's like in real life, right? That's why your parents always tell you to eat your veggies, right? There you go. In this game, it's more of a reason to do so. Let's go over here and find this guy. There he is. Okay. There's another blade over here, too. That was a dull blade, so it doesn't really matter. Now, over here, you could have a passive route as well. Shusen Fujimori. He's the root of all you know what? Let's go with the passive route. Was <laughs> is that the right option? Oh, he's just gone now. Ah, I should have fought him. Son of a biscuit. If you fight him, um, assuming you beat him, I'm not sure if you will or not. I lost to him. I was really close to beating him, but I then I lost. Essentially what happened then, he spares your life, and he tells you that, like, you know, Samurai's life is not worth throwing away. There's another guy looking off in a cliff, and he looks at this scene, and he's just, like, wondering why that guy spared your life. And that triggers some sort of other quest line again. But as I mentioned, there's just multiple decisions in the game, so it's kind of really hard to pinpoint what's going to happen every single time because it's all based on your decisions. But since I went with the passive route over here, let's start heading back towards a village here. I'm really upset that that happened. I was hoping that we'd get a similar scene, but with um, a different outcome. But that's my bad. I should have fought him. But that's also what's really cool about the game because it has that dynamic value where, you know, just a small little decision on your end completely changes the entire scope of things here. So there's a life timer, um, there's going to be a morning, middle day, night system, and different scenes and different events happen based on the time of day, and also the day it is as well. Right now we're in the morning and we have these two scumbags over here harassing this young female. Want to play with me? Are you waiting for someone? You sh you're sure are a cutie. Yeah, free. Okay. Let's go over here and talk to these guys. Hey, what is it? You got a problem? We're not planning on drawing your weapon with LB, are you? <laughs> As a matter of fact, I am. So, you can now interject. You can just go ahead and tell them to stop and you'll fight them. Or, you want me to help you guys out if you want to be a scumbag. I will go over here and just help this young lady out, so I'll say stop it. Are you giving me orders? Kill him! Now check this out. I'm gonna... I'm gonna release my weapon right now, or sheet it, I should say. I could fight these guys regularly and kill them. If I hit selecto, I could swap over to my dull, my blunt side of the blade. Now, if you swap over to the blunt side of the blade, as you could probably imagine, you won't kill these guys. 
And that's more if you want to do like a passive, like good guy route, I guess. But it is an option. Assuming you don't you don't want to be like, you know, a killer. You can just be like an honorable dude. These guys are scumbags, but you're not gonna waste your time over here and kill them. You're just gonna hang out there, spread eagle. Close your legs, you sissy. Okay, so we got this guy down, and apparently his friend booked it. Normally you could fight both of them at once, but then after you kill one of them, the second one would just kind of like, you know, grovel and be like, Please don't kill me! But apparently because uh, I lured this guy away, the other guy just ran off. Alright, let's go ahead and put our weapon away here. And he, we didn't kill him, we just knocked him out because we used the blunt side of our blade. Let's go now, Chidori. How you doing, baby? Thank you for saving me. My name is Chidori. I can provide you with basic instructions on how to play Way of the Samurai 3. Is there anything you don't understand? Let me know, and I'll be happy to explain it to you. And she'll basically run down most of the basics for you. The only thing we're going to cover with this, is because I already know the controls, is... Uh, allow me to introduce myself? Sure, why not. Nameless. Is that the name of a samurai? It's a wonderful name. Okay. How may I help you? Uh, we're going to go into explanations, because it's one thing we want to cover, and this will give you like a really big oversight in terms of what way the samurai is all about. And that's going to be, I'm a beginner. What an honest and brave person you are. Welcome to Amana. I'm sure you enjoy your journey in Amana. How can I help you? Alrighty, um, what do I do? That's essentially going to be your first question. If you're coming into this game blind, you'll have no idea what to do, right? So she'll kind of break it down for you. You can do many things in Way of the Samurai 3. I'm sure it can be a bit confusing for a beginner. In Amana, two forces are at war. The Fujimori clan, led by the current warlord Chuzin Fujimori, and the Oka clan, that are attempting to revive Sakurai clan, the former ruling power. Meanwhile, Takatani village, which is the one that we're at right now, is suffering from the heavy taxes imposed by the Fujimori clan. The best way to start is to choose a purpose. For example, you might want to save the poor villagers. Perhaps, you want to serve the Fujimori clan and move up in rank. Maybe, you would like to join the Oka clan and live wild. You have the choice. You can even listen to all three sides and decide which group you would like to join. But I must motion, but I must mention, you can choose not to join any side if that is what you desire. Phew! All this talking is quite tiring. Yeah, you're telling me. I do it all the time when I play these games, Chidori. So that gives you the breakdown of the game. What I explained earlier that there is so many options for you to undertake, and you know, there's no wrong or right, but there's definitely a lot of replay value in the game because of that. Um, you could ask her where you live as well. Uh, for some reason, even if uh, the the most common one to me would be if you allow yourself to be rescued by those two guys at the start, they'll bring you to this village here, and you wake up, and then you will be uh, you'll be talked to by the village um, elder, and he'll tell you you could probably sleep over here, which is an abandoned house. I'm not entirely sure what happens because I took the um, the the aggressive route over here. So apparently, what I'm doing, I'm just over here crashing in his home without um you know nobody's permission but that's okay i'll sleep over here and um let's just let's go to sleep until morning who's gonna tell me to leave otherwise you tell this bald samurai with his you know junk flapping over the place to leave i beg to differ so we're in day two we got our hp bank that's cool now as you start off again you'll probably be confused what to do you could go anywhere in these houses and break stuff down find some items as a matter of fact you might want to find some items early on to have some restorative powers if we go into our map over here we could check out the local map, and one of the easiest things to start off with is to go to Takatani Village, which we're at right now, and just get a few jobs, get some money, because you start off with no yen, and you're going to need yen to buy blades, buy components for blades, you can actually go ahead and make some blades as you go along over here, and different type of weapons that you will need to, you know, have an easier time. You could also train, you can go to a dojo and train, learn some new skills, there is so much to do over here, so, you know, forgive me for just kind of glazing over everything, but there's so much to talk about, and I'm only doing a one-shot on this, so, you know. Hopefully you understand. Let me talk to Masai over here, which is going to be a, a kind of a really amusing job early on. A really easy one, too. Haven't you seen your face around here? I'm Masai. The young villagers call me the elder of the village. I wish they wouldn't call me that. I don't deserve being called an elder, do I? Uh, of course not, my young lady. The young don't understand you. And you're indeed an elder. <laughs> okay, now let's go ahead and play suave with the old lady here. What an honest man you are! I lost faith in everybody in this village. You think you can gain my trust? Would you in be interested in my special job? Uh, sure. I'm really in trouble. It seems that I have lost my favorite underwear. Oh, 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 oh no. Oh no. 
I always keep them with me when I go for a walk. Why? Why are you walking with your underwears in your hands, you lady? You old coot. It must be somewhere in Kuchihagara, wrapped in cloth. Please find them for me. Ugh. Go on, Den. If you find them, I will reward you. What a relief. Oh, God. I'm gonna go find this old lady's panties. Okay. So, Fujiwara happens to be the place where we actually um, woke up from our little journey here, or at least our little mission here. So let's go to the world map, we'll jump over to Kujihagara, and what you have to do here is actually find the panties, obviously. Now, for the job overview, if you go to the summary area, it'll tell you about the crows. You see these crows over here running around? Once you find the panties, for some reason, these crows will actively try to steal those panties from you. Um, now... The textures are, again, PS3, and even for the PS3 time, the textures weren't too great. So it's kind of hard to find. The the, the, the the little clothing that you're looking for actually looks like a fucking rock sometimes, so... And it's always at a random place, so let me see if I can find this here momentarily. And um, once we find them, we have to run out of here as soon as possible, because the crows will actively take those panties from you, and then if you if they take them from you, you obviously fail the mission here. Where did this woman lose her goddamn panties at? Get out of here, crow! <laughs> Get out of here! You could kick stuff too, it's actually pretty amusing. Okay, um, nothing here. Did I piss that crow off? What are this over here? These... Those are pebbles. The the, the clothing looks something like that too. This guy is like a, a leader of some gang clan, so if you fight him, you'll piss them off. And whenever you go to like another area where that, that gang is actually in control of, they will actively come after your ass too. Oh, here we go! That's it right here. You see how that looks like a, a fucking rock? Kind of, a little bit, whatever, but that's it right here. Now, <laughs> hold up. I just need to make sure we can run to safety afterwards. This is not going to be safe. That's a long run. Okay, I think we grab the panties and we run back down the, um, the little water area over there. Okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. No crows. Yeah, I know we found the underwear. Avoid the crows, avoid the crows, avoid the crows, avoid the crows. Or ravens, whatever the No, no, go away. I think we got it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Ooh. let me tell you, you think it's um, silly? It's actually a silly concept. The game is, um, you know, pretty quite, um, you know, self-aware and it makes fun of itself quite a bit. But those ravens or crows, whatever the fuck you want to call them, will actively come after you and steal those panties from you. They've done it to me, like, back in the PS3 version. I was kind of like, really? Crows over here stealing old lady panties? I don't even want to know what goes through your head, Japan. But you never fail to amaze. All right, let's go over here. Masai's underwear. Success. Good job. Do you want me to give you a kiss? No, that's all right, Miss Say. So we got 200 yen. We got at least our, our first bit of money in the game. You start off with zero, and you slowly build up the money over time, too. So what I, the last thing I want to do right now before we start wrapping it up, I know there's a lot to cover in this game, but man, there is um, you know such little time in these videos for me. Let me go into the world map. I'm going to come over to Omikomi Town, which is where uh, a few of these gangs actually hang out at. And if you're in a bad state with them, or if you kind of cross in their territory, they will actively try to fight you. I'm, I'm going to show you a bit of a... A bit of a example of that. So, check this out. So I'm getting close and they're kind of like, what the fuck's up over here? Yeah, so you don't want to do that early on because they will probably wreck you because they'll fight you three on one. But we should get a scene over here that triggers pretty soon. Let's go down, Hozo. Thanks to Lord Chuzen, the area is thriving. The citizens should be thankful to Lord Chuzen. But over here we should have a scene. And I'm going to go ahead and play this one without doing much so it actually plays out. Because I know if I hit the passive ability, I'm not sure what happens when you do the negative one. What's that? I smell something. It smells like a beast. A bloodthirsty beast is out of place here. Is it blood I smell? <laughs> I thought so. A smell nothing close to elegance. You are only the second person I've smelled with this stench. The other was Lord Shuzen Fujimori. That man cannot escape the smell of blood. Your smell may be stronger, I must admit. That smell, it's 
What a rare discovery. It pays to walk around the town sometimes. Who knows? We may see each other again. And now I bid you adieu. Oh. <laughs> now, you know, I'm no Casanova myself, but let me just tell you, I am pretty sure that woman wants to dick. Anyway, so um, that's a really good introduction, or at least a good end off point for this video because there is another thing that we haven't talked about here which is relationships as well in the game you could also go ahead and find you know another mate to kind of you know settle down with as well and I guess that's one of the options right there but depending on whoever you decide to settle down with will give you like certain abilities and like you know um extra advantages in the game so if we go over here to the status no it's not it profile and we go to partner as you can see we have no partner right now but you know as you progress through the game and you know hang out with more people, trigger more cutscenes, you will actually be able to get a partner, which you will learn skills from and all sorts of other things right here. But this is a really, really minimalist, minimalistic, he says, minimalistic look at Way of the Samurai 3. There is so much to cover with this game, but I just want to give you a little idea of how it plays out. This is kind of like more of the black cheap of the uh, Way of the Samurai games. This is kind of like the ones that people either like or hate. Um, I think Way of the Samurai 4 is a bit more beginner-friendly than number 3, but, you know, it's an option, and it's coming out here on Steam on March 24th or 25th, if I'm right. So if you're into these type of games, definitely give it a look at it. All the information will be in the description below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Leave a thumbs up. I will catch you next time! Ha ha ha! Oh, I'm a oh my god! I just stripped that woman down to her panties! <gasps> I didn't know that was gonna happen. No, don't call the guards. I'm out of here. I'll catch you guys next time.